Hello, God bless you. My name is Stephen. I'm the pastor of Graffiti Fellowship Church in Brooklyn, New York, and it's time for today's daily devotion. This is where we take a chapter from the Bible, read it together five days a week, and today we are finishing the Gospel of John, uh, which also means that we're finishing the section of the New Testament that we call the Gospels. There are four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And uh, we've been going through them in order. We started with Matthew, because it's the first book of the New Testament. It's the first of the Gospels, uh, as they are organized in the New Testament. And we've gone all the way through Matthew and Mark and Luke, and today we finish John. So today, uh, today's video will be John chapter 21. Uh, the chapter is subtitled Epilogue. Jesus appears to the seven disciples. So we've seen uh, so far, uh, we saw in the last chapter, Jesus' resurrection. He appeared to um, Mary Magdalene. He appeared to um, his, his disciples. We see Peter and John. In John's Gospel, he refers to himself in the third person. He calls himself the disciple whom Jesus loved. He and Peter race to the tomb when they hear that Jesus is no longer there, and they become uh, the second and third eyewitnesses to His resurrection. And um, we, we, we see this word begin to spread, that Jesus isn't there. He's risen again. Uh, he appears then to the larger group of disciples. We, we see an exchange with Thomas. He's not there at Jesus' initial reappearance, and then he interacts with Jesus later. And um, Now we close out John's Gospel with chapter 21. It's not a very long chapter, 25 verses. Uh, let's read, beginning in verse 1. <clears throat> later, Jesus appeared again to the disciples beside the Sea of Galilee, and this is how it happened. Several of the disciples were there, Simon Peter, Thomas, nicknamed the twin, Nathaniel from Canaan and Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples. Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. We'll come too, they all said. So they went out in the boat, and they caught nothing all night. At dawn, Jesus was standing on the beach, but the disciples couldn't see who he was. He called out, Fellows, have you caught any fish? No, they replied. And then he said, Throw your net on the right-hand side of the boat and you'll get some. So they did. They couldn't haul in the net because there were so many fish in it. Then the disciple Jesus loved said to Peter, It's the Lord. And when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his tunic, for he had stripped for work, jumped into the water and headed to shore. The others stayed with the boat and pulled the loaded net to shore, for they were only about a hundred yards from the shore. When they got there, they found breakfast waiting for them, fish cooking over a charcoal fire and some bread. Bring some of the fish you've just caught, Jesus said. And so Simon Peter went aboard and dragged the net to shore. There were 153 large fish, and yet the net hadn't torn. Now come have some breakfast, Jesus said. None of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. And then Jesus served them the bread and fish, and this was the third time Jesus had appeared to his disciples since he had been raised from the dead. After breakfast, Jesus asked Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, Peter replied, you know I love you. Then feed my lambs, Jesus said. Jesus repeated the question, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, Peter said, you know I love you. Then take care of my sheep. A third time he asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time, and he said, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said, then feed my sheep. I tell you the truth, when you were young, you were able to do as you liked. You dressed yourself and went wherever you wanted to go, but when you were old, You'll stretch out your hands, and others will dress you and take you where you don't want to go. Jesus said this to let him know by what kind of death he would glorify God. And then Jesus told him, Follow me. 
Peter turned around and saw behind them the Jesus, uh, excuse me, the disciple Jesus loved, the one who had leaned over to Jesus during supper and asked, Lord, who will betray you? Peter asked Jesus, what about him, Lord? And Jesus replied, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? As for you, follow me. So the rumor spread among the community of believers that this disciple wouldn't die, but that's not what Jesus said at all. He only said, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? This disciple is the one who testifies to these events and, 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 and has recorded them here. And we know that his account of these things is accurate. Jesus also did many other things, and if they were all written down, I suppose the whole world could not contain the books that would be written. That concludes John chapter 21, and also concludes the Gospel of John. It also uh, concludes a section of the New Testament that we uh, refer to as the Gospels, the story of Jesus' earthly life and ministry. Uh, thanks so much for participating in today's daily devotion throughout this biblical book, throughout this section of the New Testament. If you've missed any of the prior videos, they're all here. Uh, you can go back and uh, have a look at any of those as many times as you like. And if you know someone who's interested in exploring the Bible uh, and maybe looking for a tool to help them do so, please feel free to share uh, these videos with them if you think it'll be a blessing. Uh, we're blessed by your participation, and we'll hope you'll, you will join us again next time for our next daily devotion. God bless.